15 Nissan Rogue. It's never good when you need a leaf blower to dry out the car because I cleaned the carpets because the sunroof's leaking. I mean, I did a lot of praying on this car to try to figure out what the problem is, why it flooded. And apparently there's drains for that sunroof and they're clogged. I knew there was drains, I just didn't know where. I mean, when you look up there, you can't really see anything. This flapper's in the way of everything. So I went on Google, did a little research, and found out they're here, they're behind this, they're in the cow. There's one there, and there's one over that side. So we're gonna take this apart, and when I get this apart and off, I'm gonna put it outside and hose it off get it nice and clean and then we'll get to the drains and hopefully fix this so it doesn't flood again all right let's see if we can remove these clips get yourself a pick and then we got to get these things out of here okay so the front lifts up if i can get it in there sticking ourselves there you go so there's a little black tang there you lift that up lift that little black tang up in there right there lifts up and you slide it off so we got seven more This is probably the wrong pick for this. Well, we still got it. Got two of them. Let me get a better pick. Actually, a small straight slot would probably be better. Let's try that. Oh well, yeah. So these are easy enough to take off get the rest of them off. all right so we got the clips off there's seven of them one there another one there another one there another one there seven of them all the way across all right so the next step we got to take these wiper arms off hood's in the way so I'm trying to get around there so we gotta, gotta take these covers off see that line there that's a cover that's covering the nut that holds that on and the same there we gotta take that cover off so let's do that all right I got another pick we're gonna try to pop that off with a pick Well, yeah, that was easy. Now we gotta pop the other one off. Now let's try to pop the passenger side off. Yeah, they come off pretty simple. All right, so we got them off. You just click on there. All right, so I got a 14 millimeter on a short extension on the DeWalt ratchet. Cordless ratchet. There's one. Let's get the other one. All right, let's get the passenger side. All right, let's see if we can wiggle this off of here. Let's 
gonna be tough because it's new factory. Well, it's not new, it's old, eight years old, but you know what I mean. It's probably never been taken off before. Grab it and wiggle it, and of course it's not coming off. It's just not that simple. I think I'm going to uh, try to close the hood and do it. So I just got the passenger side off. I had to do that without you. But I'll try to show you with the driver's side. I mean, it's really, I, I can't put you anywhere because I got to put my arms there. But uh, you just basically grab it here and you, and you got to wiggle it up and down to try to break it free off of that stud. See if we can do it. Just grab it here somewhere and just push down. Up, down, up, just keep doing it until it gets loose. Is it loose yet? I can't see. Come on, buddy. Yes, it's loose now. All right, so now you got to peel this little corner here. This little rubber corner, see it? Hmm. See how it goes? Oh, you can't really see, I guess. See how it goes? It connects here. You need to disconnect it and bring it up above this. This rubber here, because that has to come off. So you just got to make sure that's loose. Okay, so apparently it's like pinched in there. So you got to unpinch it. So let's make sure this is loose all the way across, which it looks like it is. Of course, there's a hose, must be for the windshield washer fluid. All right, let's unhook this side. under the windshield that's what it looks like anyway so you got to slide it out of there somehow try the other side it's probably never been out Let's see if I can clamp you somewhere Try to push it with Mr. Screwdriver, see if we can get it started. Oh, okay, I can get my finger on it now. And sometimes it'd be nice to have a second person video for you. I won't break the windshield. I'm gonna try to get that out of there. I'm basically pushing down, I'm not prying. Looks like there's a lot of fungus in there, too. All right, there we go. Got that free. So that rubber corner piece came off. Hopefully it goes back on. See if we can get this out now. Well, there we go. Mm, the drains look very fungusy. All right, let me. Uh, I gotta take you off the clamp so I can try to hold you and get you in there. So one of the drains is behind here. You see it there, that plastic drain right here? That's the drain in the center of that. So that's the one on the driver's side. Now let's check the passenger. It looks like the passenger one's running a little bit. But you can see it's clogged. So apparently there's some kind of filter plug in the center there that they put on there for some reason. Of course, you know, a couple of years 
of all the trash running down and and such it's gonna clog that up so uh, i saw another little video and he just pulled them out and left them out and i'm, I'm doing the same thing because uh i'll be honest this car should have been total it was in an accident and uh it was sent to the dealer but this is being this is a nissan for some reason her insurance company sent her to a toyota dealer thirteen thousand dollars to fix this car i'll show you what happened Apparently she was driving in the snow and she slid sideways. And when she slid sideways, she hit here a telephone pole. So what happened was this door was mangled and I guess this is called the B pillar. This one here, this one was totally bent. They had to remove this and replace it. That's probably why the sunroof is not closing properly. I showed in another video how it's crooked, you know what I mean? So I'm thinking it's because they took this out. They took this out, the roof got tweaked. It probably got tweaked in the accident. I mean, if you look at this, it looks like they did a good job. You can barely tell that they removed this whole piece and put a new one in. But the way you could tell, listen to this door. Sounds like a tin can compared to the factory door. See the factory door sounds a little different. Listen to this one. It's like there's nothing in there. There's no uh, sound deadening material. There should be a piece you ever see on a sink, like a kitchen sink. It'll have a piece of that rubber on the bottom so it doesn't make that much noise when you drop stuff in the sink. Well, there should be something in here, and there isn't. So that tells me, even though the insurance paid 13 grand, they went and got the cheap aftermarket door. They didn't get the original one. But, you know, that's what everybody does, I guess. But let's clean these drains out. See what we can do here. So apparently once I pull that little plug, it should come pouring out of there. Let's see if we can get it with these. Right, hold the camera still, Jamie. Starting a little bit. Oh, move the camera. I could see it running a little bit. But uh, apparently I'm gonna have to stick something in there. Let me get something to poke it with. See if we can get this pick in there. Probably not. I'm gonna have to bend it. You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. I don't wanna stab the hose though. Let me, let me try to find something else. Got this small screwdriver. Let's try that, little Phillips. Well, no. So my next option, I'm going to have to put the air to it. And that means it's going to blow it up, which I'd rather blow it down, except you can't find a spot up there. Let me get the air. All right, I got the air. Now, I'm not going to get carried away. I'm just going to try to give it a quick pulse. Hopefully, it starts to go up, and then the trash comes back down. Hopefully. If there's water laying in there, let's find out. Right in the face. Ooh, that stinks. Nothing. All right, so I think the next step, I got to set you up here, and I'm going to go up top and pour some water. See if it runs out, because, yeah, I see a little bit of trash on the roof after I just did that with the air. See a little bit of trash there? Apparently, that just came out of there. Yes. So when I poked that, we definitely poked it clear. Now I'm gonna set you up here and we'll see. See if I could dump some water up top and have it come out. All right, so I got a brand new deer park. I'm gonna get to dumping. nothing all right I 
I think I need to clean the other side out first too. All right, so I tried to get the shot at coming out, but it's unfortunate this passenger side here, it was really clogged. So I had to keep applying air down here to get the trash to go up, which it did and it flew out. I'm gonna have to clean all this anyway, but you can see that right there. And it's all inside too. But I'm gonna have to clean it anyway. The other side, I pulled the stupid little plug that Nissan put in there. It's kind of like a little filter. You know, being honest, they probably put it there on purpose so it would jam up, so you have to take it back to them to get it fixed. So anyway, I missed a shot of the water dumping out, but it did dump out. This side here, I don't know if you could see it there. Hold on, man, let me get something to point with. There's a little plastic cap that was on the end. Let me take you off the clamp. All right, so there's a little plastic cap there. You see it there? A little plastic cap, same color. It's like a yellowish, whitish plastic, same as that color. So I pulled out, see it there? I pulled that off and it came out like a river and all the fungus with it. This side, it didn't. I pulled that one off and nothing came out. So I used the air and it's very hard to get the nozzle and the hose because of this stupid thing here. But I was able to force it, pump it, and all the trash flew out the top. So let me show you that it's working now. I'm gonna dump some water in there. I'm probably gonna have to dump some cleaner down there because once that opened, the smell got even worse because that water's been laying. All right, so you see what it looks like now. Start dumping some water. So you're gonna dump the water right here, anywhere in the front or the sides. We're just gonna dump it in there and see it come out. I hear it. There it is. So that side's working. Let's go over and try the driver's side so you see what that looks like now let's let's give it a shot not down the windshield dum dum all right so we're in there and there it is flowing beautiful and it goes down on the floor which is fine with me i'll clean that later Man, I hope this does it for her, man. I was upset about this one. She's been dealing with this car for four years like this. You can't be around mold for four years. I'm glad I was finally able to get it over here and try to do something. Now I think I'm going to make some potent cleaner and dump it through there. I just wanted to make this video to maybe help someone. You know, I watched the video, it didn't show everything, but it still gave me an idea of where things were. So I thank that guy. I mean, I like this video and all, but you know, I don't usually comment on other people's videos. I don't want to be attacked. <laughs> so uh, if you watched my other video earlier using that brush, that uh, drill brush, this thing. I tried it on the paint just to see, you know, cause I gotta clean this too. So this is what it looked like. And this is what it looks like after the drill brush. Wow, it's not bad, huh? It's not bad at all. You see the difference when we go to this door here. See the fungus? Cause I didn't clean that yet. Look at that difference right there. Sheesh. So yeah, I might I might use that. There was a wide one in that kit. Do the whole car with it. Because that, that'll help you get in all these little nooks and crannies. The mirrors. And being that they're soft bristles, it doesn't uh, scratch the paint. 
I got to do something with the engine too and the battery. Look at this brand new battery I did a year ago when I did the remote start in this. And look at it. It's leaking like a pig. And look at this. Green crusties. Actually, blue crusties. Well, that's no good. I'm going to have to fix that too. And I got to do something with her headlights. So, yeah, when they fixed this car after she had an accident, they got clear coat all over the headlights. Right? The headlights look brand new before the accident. So, when she took it back for them to get the clear coat off, this is how they gave it back to her. They're all fogged up and scratched up now. That's how you remove the clear coat, huh? I guess. 13 grand they charged. They got clear coat all over this. I don't even think they got it off. I still see dot bar. I'm not going to be able to tell until I clean it. So I'm not going to comment on that. See if I can fix this for which I probably can't. Because you see the rectangles? They're all broken. So I'm going to take this headlight out and see what's going on. Now, it looks like there's some kind of plastic black bubble thing under there. I guess it's supposed to absorb some of the impact. And that might be deformed. Maybe I can push that back in so I can push this back in. We'll see. That'll be another video.